Greetings, sir. This may concern Christian Aguilar here, back with another movie review. And in today's movie review, I'm going to be reviewing the one of the older Safdie brother films entitled uh, Daddy Long Legs, which came out in 2009. The film stars Ronald Bronstein, Sage Ronaldo, Frey Ronaldo, and Eleanor Hendricks. So this is actually the first film that Benny and Josh Safdie actually directed together. Um, they did a handful of shorts. But in terms of like a feature length film, this was their first one. And it essentially is a fictionalized take on the relationship between them and their father when they were younger. And that's essentially who we follow throughout this movie is Lenny, the father, as he tries to balance everything in his life from his children to his work to his love life. We really get to see this guy try to be a responsible individual, all while being a great father and a great worker. And it's just a bunch of balancing of the plates, you know, and it's really well done. It's well performed. The chemistry between the actors feels genuine and feels real. Um, and that's largely due to them having them hang out a lot before the cameras rolled, before they actually got on the set. I heard that Benny and Josh Safdie had the actor that played the father, uh, Roland Bronstein. He had him pick up the child actors from school and it would kind of be like that father with with his son relationship and to hear that it just makes sense as to why it feels so genuine nothing feels forced in this movie everything feels raw and real especially with the use of long lenses one thing i gotta knock the film for a little bit i will say gotta warn you if you hate handheld and you are really irritated by it for whatever reason um i will say that this movie has a lot of handheld in it if you don't know by now a lot of josh and benny safty uh films have like a lot of handheld in them so especially their early work and this is one of them so if you can't deal with handheld and you just get annoyed by it know that there's a lot of it in this movie i don't think there's ever a time where there isn't <laughs> any handheld but over time as the movie progresses you will get used to it like i did but it is pretty jarring at times however it does play with the theme of the movie. This man is, has a very chaotic life. Everything is unstable in his life. He doesn't know whether or not to be a father to his sons or a friend to his sons. He doesn't want to disappoint them, but at the same time, he wants them to listen to him. And you can't really have the best of both worlds like that, you know, in parenting. So this is a great window into somebody that doesn't have his life altogether, but it's trying to, you know. Maybe he's not as mature as one would believe a father should be so to see this play out on screen is just it's really cool man it's really cool because again there's that authenticity there it feels real it feels like we're peeking in on something that we really shouldn't be watching you know this is someone's life and should we really be watching this yes we should because josh and benny want us to you know that's what it feels like and i like that approach to it and to go back with the performances um the child actors in this movie i know a lot of people or a little iffy when it comes to child actors, whether or not they give a good performance or if they're just annoying. These two kids really give a great performance. Um, there's not a moment where I thought they were annoying or where their performance wasn't that good, where it just stood out in a negative way. Again, these two feel natural. They feel genuine. And it's really cool to know that uh, they were discovered, I believe, by one of the brothers while walking around in, in, in New York City. They were walking around. They saw a mother with two kids. And they're like, hey, ma'am, can we use your kids for this movie that we're filming? And then, they, of course, they sat down with her, went over a little bit. And then eventually she agreed to it. And the rest is history. You know, they found their child actors. That basically represents the younger them, ultimately. Another thing I have to knock the film for is there's certain characters that the film introduces that I find really interesting. However, we don't really spend a lot of time with them. We're introduced to them for a little bit, for maybe a scene or two, and then they kind of leave the picture a little bit and I felt like the movie could have benefited from maybe having one or two of those characters play a bigger role in the story but I I get that the main focus is on the father and on his relationship with his with his sons so I totally get that but it just it seems like there was more characters that could have been fleshed out and I guess that's just a testament to how well they write the side characters is because there's some characters in here that I would like to see more of, but I didn't get to because there's only so much time to tell this one story, you know, it's not a series. So I get why they don't play a huge part, but still, I feel like they could have benefited just a little bit from having those recurring faces. And another thing, not to give away the ending, the ending kind of felt like, well, it felt like it didn't have a conclusion. Um, 
it ends. Of course it ends. Everything ends. But it doesn't seem like the character really learned anything at the end. I could be wrong on that. I wouldn't mind sitting down and rewatching it. But on my first viewing, I realized that he didn't seem to, to learn anything. And he just kind of like is moving forward with how he is. And he's like, oh, oh, well, if this place doesn't accept me, I'm moving on to the next place. And I'm taking them with me, you know. So that's how it kind of felt to me, came off to me as maybe I got to rewatch it. Maybe I'll see it differently. But that's how I got it off my first time. So the ending is a bit iffy for me. But overall, it is a great film. And to know that this is their first film that they directed together as a pair, pretty cool to see. Especially if you've seen Uncut Gems and Good Times. Going back in their filmography, it's really cool to see their earlier stuff. So with all that being said, what do I give Daddy Long Legs? I have to give it a solid three and a half out of five scars guards yes three and a half out of five it's a solid movie it's a good time especially if you're a fan of the safety brothers i highly recommend going back and checking this out it's a great time and you get to see a little bit of their roots where they came from in their childhood so it's really really cool so that is it for today's video thank you so much for reasons to the end of it what do you think are you thinking of checking out daddy long legs if you have seen it let me know what you thought of it down below or are you interested in checking it out if you haven't Regardless, let me know what you're thinking down below. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe, support the channel. It's always very much appreciated. The rendered image is show I host my good friends Tyler and Shannon. Link to the channel will be down below in the description. I hope you're all safe and well out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.